there's a few songs on the project that are like that, but which I feel like has kind of up until now, um, definitely historically been a part of our sound is just kind of like high energy, um, really positive music that um, makes you feel good and makes you just kind of want to drive with the windows down sort of a vibe. Um, mm-hmm. But up until this point, I mean, we this project definitely still has that, but there's also some sort of like more somber, some sort of more introspective uh, songs, songs that have a little bit more um, weighty themes to them too. And so there's also that bit of anxiety too of like, the music itself is kind of uh, a little bit of a shift in mentality and a little bit of a shift in the sonics. So just a little bit of anxiety over like, are people going to hate this? I I don't know. Um, And, and I think that uh, it seems like people really love it, which is cool. I think that, you know, my favorite bands, Avery and I've talked about this a ton. My favorite bands kind of evolve with me as I, um, you know, listen to other things and and develop more um, of my taste. And so, I think that hopefully we're doing that alongside of fans and listeners. Um, Additionally to like, I don't think we're at all outside of entirely outside of like making those high energy songs. I think that those will continue to, to come alongside some of the stuff that we've um, this on this project as well. So I don't think we're outside of that world entirely, but there's definitely a little bit of anxiety um, leading up to the release because of that added factor as well. And, and the time, like you said, it was, it was definitely a factor. We were, it's been a long, it's been a minute. Um, but we, I think all of us in the band are like just crazy grateful and surprised and delighted that the songs from 2020 have done so well. So, um, especially honey. So it's like, it feels like we're, we're really fortunate to have a fan base that like still cares and is still listening to the music. And so that gives you a little bit of a reassurance of like, okay, I think, I think people are going to like these songs and be invested in them still, you know? Absolutely, for Fuck sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, is there any meaning behind the EP title or cover art? Yes, there definitely is. Uh, the song "Lost My Head," um, kind of the outro of that song ends, and it's like this reoccurring um, motive uh, or motif of um, all of the things you said that just keeps getting repeated over and over again. That's kind of how the album ends, and or EP, I suppose, ends <laughs> in its entirety. Um, but yeah, that, that whole song is kind of about a period in my life where I felt like um, there, Avery and I co-wrote that song and kind of finished it off together. And we were trying to get into the mindset of more or less that song's about the feeling of being gaslit, the feeling of a bunch of people or one person in particular, a group of people telling you that you are in the wrong, that you feel like your sense of reality is distorted, that you feel like... Um, your perception of the world is not correct and you feeling like i feel like i'm i've got my head on my shoulders you know i feel like um i feel like you <clears throat> you guys maybe are, are or you you are the one who is trying to deceive me or make me feel like i'm i'm going crazy and uh that repetition of all of the things you said is kind of just <clears throat> as the album ends kind of just i feel like in a sense me uh going through all those conversations over and over again, saying, was there a motive to all the things you said, um, trying to like sort of reconceptualize and change the frame of uh, mind of what I was thinking at, at the time. So, and, and I feel like for me personally, um, like I said, this project is kind of a little bit darker, a little bit um, darker is probably too strong of a word, but it has weightier themes. And I think that, for me, I kind of had to get some of those feelings and so- and songs and ideas out before I could write more sort of really uplifting, happy stuff. And so hopefully that whole moment is even just sort of like a <clears throat> uh, reframing all of all of those con- thoughts and concepts. And now that that has sort of like I feel like that's out of my system, we're we're hopefully back to writing some some more fun, upbeat, happy stuff alongside, I'm sure, stuff that'll that'll have some some weight to it. Gotta have both. I think there's yeah. something like also in that, like the having a song that's very, very specifically about gaslighting and and in a few things that we were like walking through for a few years, mm-hmm. um, and always are. But like I think there's a tendency with those situations to villainize someone or feel villainized by someone. So um the choruses leading up to the final chorus are I felt the pressure buried in things you said and then the last is was there a motive in all of the things you're, you said so there's almost like a 
I feel like there's also a reflection of like self gaslighting. I'm not mm. allowing myself to feel this way. Am I reading into this? Is it actually me? Is it you essentially? So mm -hmm. yeah. I think as far as like the visuals go, when we were doing the, um, the promo videos for, um, for cigarettes conversation, uh, lost my head. And then the album cover, uh, we, we did them all on the same, <laughs> on the same day. It was chaos. It was so much fun, <laughs> but, uh, I think so like in that album cover, there's some little like Easter eggs from all of the, all of the promo shoots, but it just like feels discombobulating and, and a little abstract, which I feel like is like, it's like the end of a journey and the beginning of a journey in an image. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah. this is all of these things that we've been building, been building towards, but they're also just like this abstract kind of portrait of a person who is like themselves, but so not themselves at the same yeah. time.